Well, as that story highlights, we live in politically turbulent times, from the revolutions of the Arab Spring to the rise of fringe parties in many parts of Europe. The way we're voting and engaging with politics is changing. The internet is playing a huge role in that, galvanising people like never before. And the data that exists online is also a useful predictor of how democratic turbulence might end. Well, here to talk about this fascinating subject is Dr Taha Yasseri from Oxford University, who's just co-written a book on the subject. Thanks very much for coming on to showcase to talk about this. We're bombarded the whole time, aren't we, for appeals, for people to join causes online. What makes some successful, but in some cases they may even become revolution, and others fail? Thank you. Um, well, the answer is that we don't know yet. Uh, it's very unpredictable. Uh, we have seen cases, for example, in online petitioning websites. We have seen petitions with uh, identical topics, but some of them very successful, most of them not quite. Uh, it's very difficult to make predictions just based on the topic or just based on the content of the mobilizations. But if you have data on the first few uh, hours of the mobilizations, then you are able to make very good predictions because it has turned out that the initial momentum of any mobilization is super important. It's very important in terms of determining the overall fate of the mobilizations. So looking at that, how can that help you predict things about episodes of political turbulence? Well, we know, as you mentioned, most of our political activities, these days happen online and they leave digital footprints. Uh, most of those footprints could be analysed. Uh, the logs of our activities, our sharings, our likes, our retweet things. Uh, analyzing those data and the, the digital footprint of our daily activities could give us a very good uh, and very accurate impression or understanding of our political behavior and eventually enable us to make predictions. Who do you think is most likely to take action by the sort of thing that they're seeing online? Is it just a youth phenomenon? Uh, not necessarily. In, in classic politics, uh, you are told that uh, people from certain demographies are more likely to participate, people with better education, richer people, people from certain races, but it's all about to change because these days anyone who has access to, to internet and who is online is susceptible to be mobilized. And our experiments in, in lab in laboratories showed that people with certain personality traits, like people who are more extrovert or that uh, are more susceptible to be influenced by online mobilizations, people who traditionally would not participate, like pro-self pro people, now because of the visibility aspect of online activities are more likely to participate and become more like pro-social people. Do you think that the internet means that we might finally have a true democracy? Well, uh, I'm not quite sure about that, but definitely internet and online politics enable uh, figures, political activists who haven't had any chance to be seen or to, to attract any attention, know they have the chance to weigh into politics. If you look at the uh, things that have happened in this country, for example, uh, the, the, the leader of the Labour Party, people who didn't have organizational support and they had very little chance to basically take over, now have the chance to gain lots of popular support from their fans, from their supporters online, and that would enable them to weigh in and to basically end up being the leader of the party. Well, indeed, and we're seeing it in America too with Donald Trump, who at the moment is uh, doing very well, uh, potentially going to be the Republican candidate. What sort of predictions would you make about that? You were saying the first uh, initial mobilizations and that early data is important predictor. Have you been looking at that at all, and what predictions could you make about that? Well, we have looked into that. We, we have analysed lots of online um, mobilizations in um, petitioning websites, in donation, donating websites. Uh, also in elections, we have analysed people's information-seeking behaviour around the election time, and uh, quite interestingly, uh, in recent elections, polls were not really a reliable source of information for any source of prediction, whereas the data that is generated online, just the logs of searches on search engines, for example, uh, enable us to make very 
accurate predictions about the outcome of the elections, for example. Yeah, well, the f pollsters were famously wrong in the last general election in the UK last year. No doubt uh, people are going to be coming to the likes of you to try to predict things in future. For now, Dr. Taha Yasseri from the University of Oxford, thanks so much for Thank joining you. us. Thank you, my pleasure.